What's happening here? It's, it's the power shortage. Oh, get me out of here. I, I can't be in here. I can't be okay, in here. Okay. Look, okay, the emergency lights just went on. Calm down, calm down. I'll, I'll call. I'll, hold on. Do hold on. something. I will, hold on. <gasps> yeah, hello, this is Matt Santos. I'm stuck in elevator two. Yeah, with the guest, Haley Vaughn. What's... Yeah? How long? You don't understand. The guest is... Okay, just just try. All right? They can't help us? Sure they can. Sure they can, but it's just going to no, take you don't a while. Understand. Calm down. I can't be in tight places, especially in the Haley, car. Haley, the entire hotel has lost power. It's just... There are emergency you backup. can't breathe in here. Okay, Matt, okay, okay. Something. I will. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Come on, come on. It's okay. Uh, sit, sit, sit. Close your eyes, come on. Close your eyes. Wouldn't help okay. if I was in the dark. I can't be in here. Okay, look, look. Um, okay, we're on the beach, okay? All right. It's a nighttime. It's a warm breeze. It's dark. Here, feel the breeze. Close your eyes, close your eyes. It's a warm breeze. It's okay. You hear the ocean? You hear it? It's okay. Come on. There's nobody out. It's just us. Not even the stars, okay? Come on. Come on. Just you and me. It's okay. Just you and me. My, isn't this romantic? Oh, look, I, I have to get back to work. Oh, don't be such a stiff, Dave. Come on. Take the afternoon off. Hmm? I mean, a blackout is the best excuse you can ever find. And I bet all of Pine Valley is out anyway. Maybe not. I... No, maybe not. All right, tell your boss you're schmoozing me. Hmm? Who's your boss, anyway? Alec, Haley, I mean, who do you report to? Haley. Oh, Haley. So when were you planning to tell her that certain people are stealing her blind? Excuse me? Yeah, don't deny it, Dave. Alec reports to me about certain things as I report to him. I'm onto your little scheme. Now, I understand that Alec has a devious side, but you... Look, it wasn't my idea, okay? I was pressured into it by Alec. You know how he can be. Yeah, I know how he can be. But this is grand larceny. I mean, not too smart for an MBA. He swore that he would put the money back right after the wedding at the latest. And you believed him. You keep a list for Santa, too? Uh, Alec is not stupid. He's not gonna risk what he has. He's gonna... He's gonna recover that loan even if he has to rob a bank. Because if he doesn't, he's finished. I'm sorry, I have to go. Don't worry. Alec, you son of a... Oh, not too... Not so fast! Forgive me for not phoning ahead, but you did say that you'd be available for problems? Absolutely. Please come in. Thank you. Hold my calls, please. Certainly. Have a seat. Thank you. What can I do for you? Well, tell me something, Dr. Kinder. Uh, what kind of a person goes into neurology? Is there a certain classic personality type? I mean, for example, pediatricians are fond of children, and uh, dermatologists hate the sight of blood. So tell me about neurologists. Are they just mean and sadistic? You're a very busy woman. I'm sure you came here because you needed my help. Now, what can I do for you, Miss Kane? My sister-in-law said I was a junkie, that I had all the signs. Your sister-in-law, Dr. Santos? I'm not a junkie, am I? My mother has a hot toddy every night before she goes to bed. Is she an alcoholic? My nurse has terrible headaches. She takes aspirin. Is she an addict? Maria said I have all the signs. Do I? What signs? Why would she say that? I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist. I deal in physical pain. Well, of course, so does she, but her ideas are so... Simple-minded. Exactly. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a byproduct of the talk shows. People pinning all their troubles on addictions. Drug addiction, sex addiction, addiction to love, addiction to bologna and cheese. <laughs> Medical science has worked for centuries to alleviate physical pain. Now that we have the tools necessary to wipe out misery, they want to take us back to the Dark Ages. Oh, and it's ludicrous. I have to live with it, of course, lectures all the time. Extra stress that you don't need. Exactly. Maria is actually sabotaging my recovery. 
Emotional strain can do that, especially with family problems. Dr. Kenyer, is, is there some way that you could give me something? Adjust your dosage, you mean? I'm a very sensitive person. Well, most artists are. Lately, I don't know my, my nerves. I, I'm just, I'm feeling so edgy. Well, it's no wonder. What with the, the injury, the family problems, demands on your career. Well, the cutting edge is a one-woman show, and the network expects me to be brilliant every week. And you are. Ah, yes, but it's just very hard, you know, when I'm feeling so stressful and so much anxiety. It's just, it's, it's overwhelming. Hmm. Well, you can't tell it from watching your show. Thank you, but I am really so afraid that the performance is going to suffer if I continue like this. I mean, this afternoon, for example, I am expected to go and prepare six interviews. And, and, and how can I focus when I'm all tied up in knots? And of course, the longer it takes me to concentrate, the longer it takes me to get my work done. And the longer it takes me to get the work done, the less I can rest. And isn't that bad for my back? You have an excellent grasp of the healing process. <sighs> well, thank you. I do wish I could prescribe for myself. We'll get you something that'll make you feel better. Okay. It will be wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Is there a pharmacy in the building? No, there's no need for that. I'm going to give you an injection. We find that it uh, works faster and lasts longer. We find it's much more effective. Is, uh, is, is this what you do for everyone? I mean, this is normal procedure. It's not just for me. No, 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 no. No, it's not just you. Thank you for being so understanding. That's what I'm here for. I feel better already. Well, good. I've really never known anything to work this fast. Pain is a terrible waste of time. My patients are very productive people. Well, it's no wonder that you attract the cream of the crop. You are just a brilliant doctor, Dr. Kim. Well, if you need me, I'll be here. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. I'll post a guard at the door. I'll guard the door myself. Don't bother. She's not going to be back. She doesn't want to hear what I have to say. How'd you stay so calm? Sheer willpower. I'm not going to let anything else get to me today. I don't care if it's World War III or fires or floods or whatever. Hey, this is it. This is the taker. Okay. Look out, world. Here comes Baby Gray. Mm -hmm. Dr. Santos? That'd be me. They're ready in OR. Arlene, I'm not going to ask you what your problem is because I'm not interested in having a scene, okay? Well, then you better sit down, because I'm an expert at barb rolls. <sighs> Let me take it, Mammy. Well, I'm glad you're finally taking me seriously. You should have done it before. Right, okay. You want to tell me what this is about? Yeah. You told me you are going to put the money back. What do you think? You are going to fool me, huh? Well, that was real stupid, Alec. Because now there's no way I'm going to let you off. No, 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 no. Just close them, close them, relax. Relax. Okay, okay, okay. We're sitting on the sand. We're sitting on the sand. It's a, a nice, warm blanket. It's peaceful. I don't hear any waves crashing. Thank you. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. Come on. It's too hot in here. It's so I know, hot. I know, I know, I know, I know. It won't be long. We'll be out here. No time. Let me, let me, let me get it. I wish I could do that. I'm unstuck. This is my worst 
Some of your nightmares now, huh? <laughs> Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I won't let it. My mind wandered off for a second. My heart's not used to talking, conversation. Is that my cue to go dig in the garden? No. I'm back. I'm gonna go help Laura dig up dinner. You heard what she said. She's crazy about beets. And I like beets as much as the next person, but... Well, you can't live on sugar alone. Joe say? All systems are go. No thanks to me. Would you stop blaming yourself, please? You are a wonderful father, and if you don't believe me, ask Junior or Jamie, okay? Honey, where's Patrick? Patrick's fine. Shelly came to pick him up. She pulled him out of the water. She saved him. She who? That lady, Janet Green. Tonight, Detective Simone crosses the line when he gets involved with a female undercover cop on NYPD Blue. Your discretion advised. Will Luna discover which one of her family members is targeted for disaster? Find out on One Life to Live. Coming up next, right here on ABC.